Now it's also fully possible to enable telemetry using uh, Redfish and the Postman client, for example. So again, we have a server where we've got no telemetry enabled and no reports. So we go into our Postman client. We can see here now that on uh, on this URI, the IDRAC uh, embedded attributes, we can uh, first of all get the uh, attributes that are available. We enter in our basic authentication. And uh, do we get to that URI? And we can see here now uh, all the attributes. Now there's quite a few of them, and we want to have a specific one. This is which is telemetry one dot enable telemetry. That's currently disabled. That is the main one, right? That's the one where we can enable and disable for the for the entire server, the main setting. Now we're going to change that. In order to do that, we want to have a uh, a bit of JSON, so we put that in in the body. Of this and um, uh, it's under attributes. Let's see if we can get that right. And we can add in our attributes that we have here. That's the wrong ones. Let's see, copy and paste from uh, the results of the get that we got just earlier. And we also need to add in the curly brackets around this. So we can get it on the right level. We have correct JSON and uh, <clears throat> that is disabled there. So we're just going to update that and change it to enabled. And instead of a get, we do a patch. So push that out. And we can now see that was successful. So if we refresh this, Probably should have clicked refresh instead of control R, but anyway, you can go back into configuration system settings and telemetry streaming, and we can now see that that has been enabled. Of course, reports are still disabled because we only did that particular setting there. So we can go in and um, we can do another get actually, so we can get all those options available to us, and then we can just copy and paste from there. We do a bit of a search so. Um, in order to, to get this, um, to, to find the different settings, it is uh, enable telemetry for all these different uh, subcategories. Just take a few of them from here and uh, copy and paste them in. We can add more to that. There's no need for us to be limited to, uh, to a single one. Take a few other ones and copy and paste them in as well. We do three this time. And get the thermal metrics. So there we go. So let's just uh, do another patch with that. We should be able to update those three in uh, in one go. And there we are, successfully updated. So if we go in now and uh, have a look at the UI again, this time we click the button for refreshing. We can have a look at the uh, reports and see if we've got those uh, ones enabled. And uh, there we go. Thank you so much for watching.